CTV's Janella Massa spoke with his family about how they're remembering Justin. Janella. Abigail, Justin's mom says he was very close with his grandparents. He loved cars and boats, and he had just started a new job after moving to the region. Nicole Edmondson is struggling to come to terms with the sudden death of her youngest son. He told me, and I just broke down and fell to the floor. 24 year old Justin Zardo was killed in an industrial accident in Air Friday, found under a pile of metal beams. Co workers tried to perform CPR, but he was pronounced dead on the scene. It was instant, so that is somewhat calming for me to know. The news is especially difficult for Edmondson, who says she and her son had a strained relationship for many years, but had recently reconnected. Justin came to visit her cottage for the first time just a couple of weeks ago. He came up with his brother, who came in from Vancouver for a two week vacation, and um, Jason and his friend uh, brought Justin up, and we had a great day. His older brother Jason spent his vacation catching up with his little brother. Him and I uh, spent the night, you know, watching TV down in the basement, just talking, relaxing, so something that we don't get to do that often. Now he's had to return for his brother's funeral. He's also asking questions about what exactly happened the day Justin was killed. The family says he'd moved to Cambridge from Mississauga four months ago, and he'd only been working at Resource Industrial Group for about a month. I don't know if there was safety in place or not. Again, I don't know what's fact and what isn't. I don't even know what actually truly happened yet, but to me, from what I heard happen, I don't think it should have, and I'm pretty sure it could have been avoided. The company's president did not return our multiple requests for comment, and the Ministry of Labour is investigating. Whether or not they get the answers they're looking for, Justin's family knows it won't bring him back. You know, one of two brothers, and now it's just me. Justin Zardo's family says they're planning to hold the funeral in Oakville by the end of this week. Abigail? All right, CTV's Janella Massa reporting live tonight. Thanks, Janella.